All right, so what is undefined? Um, for real. It's a vertical line. Is it what? It's a vertical line. Vertical line, up and down. All right, what's another line that we talked about yesterday? Um, Ariana? Zero. Zero, what is that? It's a horizontal line. It's a horizontal line going left to right. All right, then we talked about two other lines. Uh, Cam, what's one of them? And how do you know it's positive? It does not go straight up. How do you know it's positive? It's not straight. A straight is undefined. It's angled. So be careful because it's angled. Does it start in the bottom left and go right? Or does it start top right, go down? Bro, it's right here. <laughs> bottom left. Yeah, puff, puff, positive, remember? Told you you're going to remember. All right, um, and then obviously the negative is what? What's the, what's the negative? Going down the hill. Going down the hill. See, y'all remembered. You still want to admit it. It was terrible, but yeah. Oh, that's what I was doing. Um, so today, we're actually going to be finding the slope. Yesterday, we just talked about the lines, the type of lines. Today, you're going to be practicing actually how to find the rise over the run. Okay, um, so the definition uh -huh. of slope, we talked about this yesterday, is a ratio of the vertical rise to the horizontal, and if, you're, if you can't see this, it is also right there. So it's still on the board from yesterday. So the ratio of the vertical rise to the horizontal run between any two points on a line. Thumbs up when you're ready to move on. So thumbs up when you're ready. Like, All right, um, so at this point, I want you to pick one color for the rise and one color for the run. So, and this is what you're going to use for the remainder of the class period today. So pick one color that is always going to be your rise and one color that is always going to be your run. I don't care what color is there, they have to be different. <clears throat> All right, we are going to plot. So you're gonna go three to the left and two down. So this is one point. So make that stand out. And then we're gonna go four to the right and two up. That is your other point. Um, I'm just using a marker so that it's darker so you guys can see it. You can use a pencil if you want, it's not a big deal. And then I want you to draw the straightest line possible between those two points, which obviously I can't draw a straight line, so. What? So, no, 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 this is with your pencil or a black marker. Oh. Yeah, sorry, this is with, so that was my fault. This is your pencil or black marker, because this is just your line. We haven't found the rise or the run yet. That was my fault. I apologize, guys. What? What'd you say? It's positive. Oh, you? 
Oh, I was about to say, Cam, about to throw something at you. I thought you were running your mouth. All right, so again, please draw this in a black line or with your pencil. So whatever you decide the rise to be, I want you to write rise right here in that color. And then whatever you decide the run to be, I want you to write it underneath that. Okay, so for the remainder of the class period, I'm gonna use green or orange for rise, blue for run. You guys are using whatever colors you're using. <laughs> now, the slope is the change in your y and the change in your x. So for the next slope equals, we're gonna write change in y. So change in Y. And you're writing that in the same color that you wrote the rise in. So again, everything that is on top is going to be your rise color. Everything that is on the bottom is going to be your run color. So if the rise is the change in Y, what do you think the run is? Change in X. And if you think about it, guys, what line goes vertical, your X or your Y? Your Y. So up here, I just want you guys to kind of think about that's going to be your Y. And then what line runs horizontal, your X or your Y? X. <clears throat> Alright, and this is where it gets a little bit difficult if you really struggle with knowing which comes first in your ordered pair, your X or your Y. Think about the alphabet, X always comes before Y. So, the way that you find your slope is Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. Now, there's also another way that you can find your slope. What's another way you can find your slope? Anybody have an idea? No idea? What do you think? Um, yep, count how many spaces it goes up and count how many spaces it goes over. So we're going up first. So we're gonna count, and essentially I always do this. Like I, I take my two points and I bring my fingers together and I know that this is where it's gonna be. A pencil or a marker yeah. I would prefer if you use the color you picked but um, that way you're always seeing the same rise okay so we're gonna technically go up to here count how many little grid marks whatever you want to call it we go up raise your hand so how many from this point to that line did we go up count on your paper everybody should be doing this on your paper so how many did we go up Four. So this is four. And then you're counting how many times you go from this dot over. So again, you're counting one, two, three. Count how many boxes you go over. So raise your hand when you have that number. Jeffrey? Seven. Seven. All right. So technically, our slope for this is your rise. So what number goes first? Your rise. So four goes first. And what number goes second? Your run. Seven. So that is your slope. So when you're given two points on a graph, finding slope is really easy. It's when we don't have the graph and we're given two points, that's where we're gonna get on Thursday. But for today, this is what we're doing. We're looking at graphs, and we're finding a rise over run for everything that we do today. What is the point of this? The point of this? Do you want me to answer as a teacher, or you want me to answer as a 
person. Um, if you go into particular job fields, this is something you'll use. What job? Like a teacher? No, because I don't use this. I just teach this. And technically, I don't teach this because I teach sixth grade. The only reason I'm teaching this is because I'm teaching you guys. So, like, the only thing we do for graphs. Do you get paid for um, I get paid with love. All right, we're not talking about this. We're going to keep, like, we need to focus. My year, four dollars. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Why do you think I work 18 jobs? Rich. I'm the richest. I used to. I don't work there anymore. No, I quit. Oh. I work remotely and at another 3D company. And this. Can No. Can we just finish the lesson for today? I'm smart though. All right, so we're going to move on and we're going to practice. Okay? So, what always goes first? Rise. Your rise. So, your Y's are always going to go first. So, looking at this, they've already drawn the graph for you, so you don't need to draw your graph. Again, what I do, so that I don't make a mistake, I take and put a finger on both dots, and I come together, and I know that this is going to be where I stop. So, my rise goes from here to there. So, what is my rise for this one? What's my rise for this one? Six. Six. Okay. And then go from there to the other point. What is my run? Raise Four. your hand. Raise your hand. Sebastian? Four. Four. So, Sebastian, what is my slope? <coughs> your slope would have to be. What goes first? Rise. Okay. So, what's my rise? Okay, what's my run? Four. Okay, now, can we simplify, sorry you guys can't see that. Can we simplify six to four? Yes. All right, raise your hand. What can we simplify this by? Ellie. So I'm gonna divide this by two, which is gonna give me three to two. That is my rise, or sorry, that is my slope. This is not hard, you are correct. But it's not always this easy. This is, again, we're taking baby steps with us, right? All right, the next one. One other question. Is this a positive slope or is this a negative slope? Positive. Raise your hand and tell me how do you know? How do you know this is a positive slope? Ben? It's increasing. It's increasing, so it's going up, right? So from bottom left to upper right. Now, obviously, looking at this line, we already know this is going to be a what? Negative. A negative slope. So if your numbers are not negative, you've done something wrong. I want you guys to try this one on your own. Okay, stand up. Please make sure you do the colors and then stand up when you think you have your slope. Do you start the bottom one? Yeah, the bottom right one. Oh, uh, yeah, it's on the back corner. This is a negative, right? Yeah. So your answer has to have negatives in it. Keep that in mind. If you get an answer that is not negative, it is not right. So stand up if you're like, I'm not real sure. Why? He's standing up. It's okay to not, not know. Guys, it's okay to not know. Like it is 100% okay to be like, I'm not real sure. question. It's a negative. So if I go this way, am I getting any negatives? Yes. No. No, like you're pointing down. So if I go this way, so like coming coming to here, it's going to be, you have to go under. Remember, your rise can also be a negative, so it can also go down. Wait, we have to go under? It can also go down. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. You did your job. Um. All right, so when you think you have it, go ahead and stand up for me. Uh, 
We know this is a negative slope, right? So our number, they have to be negative. So you're going down. So it's gonna go from here to there. So this is negative four. And then you're going this way, which is six. So your slope is negative 4, 6, which then when you simplify it becomes what? Um, Ariana? Negative 2, 3. So we're going to divide it by 2, and this becomes negative 2, 3. You what? You're close enough? I hope, I hope close enough works. Um, do you want white out? Um, Nevaeh, do you want white out? Here you go. Come get it, babe. What do you need, sir? All right. When she's done, you can use it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. How do we feel about it? Not bad. Remember, if it is negative, your rise has to be negative. The reason it does not go here is because why? My rise is what? No, guys, look. So my rise, when I go down, is negative, right? If I go up here, it's a positive. This is, you guys already told me that knowing going in before we even graph this, that this is a negative slope. Your rise has to be a negative. It has to go down. Does that make sense to you guys? All right, slide over in your notebook. <clears throat> Please title the next blank right page that you cannot see. Slope notes continued. And put today's date. Just like yesterday, we're going to um, take a little bit of notes on the PowerPoint, and then we're going to do practice problems, okay? Thumbs up when you have this copy down. Okay, so now we are finding slope from a graph. All right, so in your notebook right now with your pencil, not anything else, with your pencil, you are going to write M equals whatever color you wrote rise in for the foldable, you're doing rise in what? That color, right? Does that make sense? Yes. That's what I use. So you need to have this in your notebook right now. 
Again, with the same colors that I'm going to read. Thumbs up when you have this written down. Now before we move on, We've kind of talked about the rise a little bit, but what type of rise is this, do you think? Ariana? It's positive. It's a positive. So then what type of a rise is this? A negative, so keep that in mind. So same thing with your run. What type of run is this? No, don't fall out. Think, we just said this is positive, this is negative. Think about a graph. That's what we're on right now, think about a graph. So if your run is going to the left, is it going to be negative or is it going to be positive? It's going to be negative. And if your run is going to the right, it's going to be what? So please go ahead. Write this information down. So when it's going up, it's a positive. What do you want to just positive is up. When it's going down, it's a negative. When it's going to the left, it's a negative. When it's going to the right, it's a positive. So go ahead and add this information to your notes. Stand up and you have this copy down. Did you say the truth on your mother? What? what? I actually don't. I, did, I forgot. You're true and on your tongue. You have to sweep these out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yep. Yeah. All right. So you guys are going to now do rise over run. In your notebooks, I want you to write this. M equals... Your rise in the color that you use, the run in the color that you use. This is how we're going to solve all these problems for the rest of today. Okay, so this is what your notebook page should look like right now. So you should have your colors. Mm -hmm. Now, without finding any numbers, looking at this graph, raise your hand and tell me, is this a positive, is this a negative, is this a zero, or is this an undefined graph? It's a positive. So we know if it is a positive, our rise is going up, right? So we're going to go from here to there. So how many from negative three to one? How many is that? It's four. So four goes here. And then my run. So I'm here, and I'm going to go this way. How many times? Two. Everybody agree? My rise to run, my slope, whatever you want to call it, is four to three. What can we do with this? We can simplify it. You're going to divide it by what? So divide this by two, and you end up with... Two over one. Two over one. Mm -hmm. 
stay for right. So we went up. We have a positive. Come on. Lord have mercy. Positive four. Positive two. So we have four to two. And then we have two when we divide. Okay? Everybody understand what they're doing? So we have three more you guys are going to do on, not on your own, but I'm not going to guide you. Always identify the line first and then go from there. All right, here's the next one. <clears throat> Stand up when you have your answer. Guys, you have to have all of this for the next three problems. These are your notes. These are what you're going to refer back to, so I need more than just an answer. And yes, you have to use your colors. Everybody's a weird kid. Not all. Stop. All right, so we're going to go over this. Now, is this a negative slope or a positive slope? Negative. It's negative. It's going down. So you know one of your numbers have to be negative, right? Are we going up or are we going down? Yeah. We're going down. Our rise is going down too. So you should technically have negative two here and then your run is this far so how many what's our run four four i'm going to divide by what two which gives me a one over two it's not these are not frac or no fractions no fractions divided by two no we're dividing by two and then we get what negative one, negative one over two two you said a fraction. I said negative one over two. No. Did you? Yeah. yeah. My bad. I can't hear. Yeah. It's been a long day, man. All right. Remember, when your run is going down, it is a net. Or sorry, when your rise is going down, it is a negative. All right. Do this one. Stand up when you are finished.
I'm waiting for you guys to stand up. So if you're done, you should be standing. So what is our rise? What is our rise? Three. Brayden? Three. How do you know it's positive? Because it's going from the bottom left to the top left. Okay. And what is our run? Uh, five. How do you know it's positive? Because it's going like this way, like from the bottom, same thing. Okay. Can we simplify this one? No. No. So then there's nothing to simplify, so essentially this is our answer. So we have two positives. Nothing can be, oops, sorry. So nothing can be um, simplified there. All right, last one. Stand up when you have your answer. Right, is this negative or positive? Negative. How do you know it's a negative? Raise your hand. Right in. Going from the top to the bottom. All right, so how many do we rise? How many do we rise? Right in. Um, down seven. So negative seven. Mm -hmm. And then how many do we run? Four. Anthony. Four. Four. Again, can we simplify this? No. No, so then that is our answer. So this is just finding slope. And remember, slope is your M. Remember your formula? The Y equals. So this, you have to do all of this to find M. And then you plug in Y equals negative 7 fourths times whatever plus B. So this is just one step of finding what you need to solve this problem. See, again, you ask me questions that I would love to answer as a person, but I have to answer as a teacher, because you're going to use this one day. All right. So, if this is in my career, I'm quitting. I'm putting a two-week If this is in your career, you're probably making decent money, so you're probably going to continue. I'm not quitting. All right. So your final answer should be negative 7 to 4. All right. Now I need you to turn the page. Where is my mouse? Um, in your notebook. You need to title it Slope Practice 11 slash 7. You are going to be putting your answers on the page that I'm passing out to you right now. This is what you're ultimately going to turn in, whether you finish it today or finish it and turn it in tomorrow. Yes, you are doing 32 problems. What? 
But it's 32 problems. Half of them are just identifying if the line is negative, positive, zero, or undefined. So what we did yesterday. Huh? Um, that's going to be your choice. At this point, listen, you can put the colors away if you don't want to use them anymore. If you want to continue to use them with your work, that is fine. When you're finding the rise over the run in your work today, you have to do that in your notebook. The undefined, the zero, those, you don't have to do the work in your notebook. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So when you go today to Canvas, you're going to click on the homework, because this is what I'm talking about. So the first page is legit identifying if these lines are positive, negative, zero, or undefined. It's not like that. You can just simply put right here, just write the word. Okay? Then the next page, this is where you have to find the slope. So what we just did. So you have to do this in your notebook. You don't have to write this on your page. You can just write your answer on your page. Does that make sense? Is there anybody who doesn't understand that? All right, then you have more slope and a little bit more slope. You're welcome. I right, get to work. That's what you're working on for the rest of class.